Hi, Sam from Guitar Village here, and we're back with the weekly roundup. If you haven't seen the weekly roundup before, basically this is today where we take six of the hottest new guitars in, show them off a bit, and talk about them. So, let's get into the first one. Follow me. Now, I said first one, we've actually had a couple of bits in. So, we've got two of the brand new Murphy Lab guitars in. These are the acoustics, not the electrics, as I'm sure you gathered just having a look at them. Which one should we check out? So we've got the 57 reissue J200, which looks killer. But come on, let's check out this. This is the 1933 reissue L00 in the ebony finish. We've had a few original ones of these, and never in the ebony. We've had them in the uh, the really wide sunburst finish, but you know, playing this and, and checking out the little details, these are really accurate. So if you want a guitar that's absolutely got that vintage vibe, check these out. All right, back into the other room again. Next up, we've got another Gibson. Spoiler alert, there is a lot of Gibsons in this. We've had a massive batch of them in. And you know what? I had to show off one of these. This is a Les Paul Standard 50s Gold Top. These are really cool looking guitars. I love them with the natural back. You know, some of the original ones, the 57 Gold Tops, you can get them with dark back on, which I think look really good as well. But, you know, they decided to do natural. Now we're going to check out a vintage gem. All right, into the old school room with all the old bits in it. Okay, in the corner here, we have got a Burns Vistasonic Standard. This is a really funky guitar. It's got three pickups and it works in the most bizarre way. So you've got this selector switch. It's three position. It's got bass, which is the neck pickup, treble, which is the treble pickup. So what do we think the last position, the wild dog position is? Well, it's not the middle pickup. It's all three pickups wide out of face. So it sounds really funky absolutely fits that name as well, Wild Dog. All right, let's go and check out some posh bits. Oh, while we're on our way through, we've had some of the Made in Japan Hybrid 2 tellies and strats, and these have got the quilt tops on. Look at this, this is gorgeous. You can have a look, if you just catch that on the side there, you can just about see where they join the top to the back really neatly done these are really great guitars they play incredibly well if you've not played a japanese fender before it's definitely worth trying one okay we're in the final room and you'll notice we've had a, a first one of our gibson amps in this is the dual falcon this has got the two tens in it it's a great sounding amp i haven't tried it myself but i heard one of the guys playing it it sounds really nice Okay, one of the staples in the Gibson lineup. This is one of the Les Paul Custom 54 reissues with the staple P90 neck pickup in there. We love these guitars. I don't think we can get enough of them. I think if we had like a whole room full of these things, we'd still be happy in various different aging and finishes. Okay, we've saved the guitar with the longest name till last. Right behind me here, we have a Gibson Custom Shop 1965 non-reverse Firebird 5 reissue 12 string in Biscay Aqua Fire Mist VOS. Long old name on that, but do you know what? This is such a cool, quirky guitar that it deserves a long name. I've never played anything quite like this before. You don't see a lot of Gibson 12 string electric, so if you've not played one like myself, I've never really played much of these before, definitely check it out, it's very, very cool. Well, that's been it for the weekly roundup. Thanks for watching. If you wanna check out any of the guitars shown in today's videos, the links will be in the description below.